So there has been a question circling the galaxy for some time now, and that is, is there a sandwich shop that could help somebody go back in time to their childhood simply by taking a bite of their sandwiches? And the answer to that question is yes. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame So it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for Hey guys, this is Mr. Tasty number 8 I'm very excited to do this review with you guys uh, today on my day off What better day to do a review on sandwiches Not just any sandwich, but Togo's sandwiches And um, I picked Togo's very uh, specifically Out of all the sandwich shops in California and throughout the US that have chains and, and, and make really good sandwiches. And I wanted to pick Togo's simply because of its history. I got picked up this bad boy not too long ago. I got three sandwiches in here to review for you guys and I will be getting to that uh, very momentarily. So just hold on for one second. Ah, it's heavy, it's like five pounds of food. <laughs> A little bit about uh, Togo's um, is that it started, I believe, in 1971 in downtown San Jose, California, uh, an area that I well uh, that I know very well simply because I was born there. And uh, I believe the first sandwich shop that they opened was not more than one block from San Jose State University, where I went to school. So that's why I wanted to do a review on Togo's, and they've been around for a while. They're very well known. And um, so yeah, so let's, let's, let's get started. Um, unfortunately, I know a lot of people go, oh, Mr. Tasty, you, you went to the original Togo's location and did a review there. Uh, no, the, the original Togo's location is actually closed it down. Um, if you go to uh, Yahoo, you can look it up and you can actually see the location is for sale. I, I don't know how much and I don't know where exactly, but it is very close to San Jose State and it's in downtown San Jose, California. So let's get started. So one of the good things about Togo's is they do have a reputation for quality. They do have a reputation for uh, doing a lot of things. Um, their menus have increased dramatically since they've opened back in the 1970s. And uh, one interesting thing is they are very kind of clicky. I mean, they appeal to a lot of people, especially those that have you know appetites and, and, and people that aren't from the West Coast that might not have been inside of a Togo's before. So if you go there, you often see a lot of people um, ordering from the menu and saying, I'll have a number nine, I'll have a number 16, I'll have a number 36. And if you go online and look at the menu online, you'll see uh, the sandwiches aren't really ordered by their type. The sandwiches are ordered by their number, which is kind of cool, I like it. So today I'm gonna be reviewing Three sandwiches, and I'll leave the la I'll leave the last sandwich uh, for later. I'll leave the best for last. But now we have one of the sandwiches that I grew up with that I liked a lot was um, the number sixteen classic Italian. And as you can see here, by the size of my face and the size of the sandwiches, they are b really big sandwiches, and they do weigh a lot. And uh, this is actually their normal size. They actually have a, a size much larger than this. So let's open this bad boy up and give it a try. Though this is the number 36. Okay, so here's the there's the Italian number 16 Italian. They like to uh, wrap these sandwiches up like a burrito. But they are pretty tasty. Get into it. Let's see if I can have you guys focus in on that. So as you can see, whoops, drop something as I always do. The product to bun ratio is pretty big in the sandwich world and they do not skimp here at Togo's. So let's get into it. So number 16 Italian is oh, one of their most iconic sandwiches. I wouldn't say the most popular, but I would say the most iconic. Simply because if you look on the menu from a long time ago when they first started, the Italian has been on their menu continuously for the longest time, as well as another sandwich that I have right here, but I'm not gonna tell what it is. It's a secret. 
So the Italian, let me break it down for you guys. You got the um, the American uh, American white cheese. You got the, I want to say it's bologna. Or mortadella. Mortadella. You got the, I want to say, copa, salami, ham. And then the ingredients kind of brings it together. But what really brings this specific sandwich together is the Italian dressing. And the, the doughiness of the actual sandwich kind of holds, holds it all together. It's really, really a delight to eat this. It's actually quite light given its size. It's very, very light. The Italian dressing comes through. I think there's mustard in there. Let me go open it up for you guys. You can see it. I don't, I don't want this sliding off my uh, lap here. So it is really tasty. Um, if you like classic tasting Subways, Subways um, type sandwiches, or sub sandwiches, I think they're called. Submarine sandwiches, that's what they're called. Um, you like the number 16 Italian from Togo's? has a, a very classic taste to it. As I said earlier, um, the Italian dressing brings it all together. You got the, uh, the, um, the pickles in there, the lettuce, the tomatoes. You can taste those too, it's not really overwhelming. And of course the lettuce, the lettuce cools it down a bit. Cause you do get a kick from the, uh, the uh, Italian salami here. And of course the, um, the peppers in there, really tasty. You get that crunch as well as the pickle. I got that tomato hanging off the edge here. I'll just eat that. Good. Come on, dude. Okay, that's enough for the Italian number 16 from Togo's. Get into another favorite of mine that I've been eating since I was a kid. I think the Italian goes back to my childhood a lot more than most of these sandwiches. However, there's one that I think you're gonna love after this next one. So put this bad boy away. Of course, they gave, they gave me napkins, but I don't use them. But I did come prepared. I did I did bring my water. So this time I brought my water. So I'm I'm prepared this time around. Sandwich number two. Let's do it. This is another favorite of mine. Number thirty six. The turkey avocado. I can bring this in for you guys. I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. Maybe it is, maybe it won't. <laughs> I've been having some issues with my camera focusing, so it's still a work in progress since I've been kind of a newbie with this whole production thing. I am testing out my new mic, so let me know how the new mic sounds. Instead of using my my uh, Yeti blue mic that I knew, my studio mic that I normally use. So as you can see, they are hefty, hefty, hefty sandwiches. Turkey avocado number 36. I feel that every single time you slap on avocado, no, this isn't turkey avocado. This is the California Club. I'm sorry. 36. Let's see if I can correct myself. I'm positive it's California Club. 36 California Club. I stand corrected. Good thing I caught that, huh? So turkey, black forest ham, bacon, and avocado with mayo served togo style. Okay, so let's just get into it. As you can see here, they don't really skimp on their sandwiches. The bun to product ratio is, is really good. California Club, going in. I should wear a bib in my videos. I'm such a slob. <laughs> okay. It's up there with the Italian. It's up there with the Italian, but it has more, um, the bacon comes through. So the uh, contrasting flavors in the sandwich, I think a little bit more noticeable than the other sandwiches, or the Italian. Simply because the mayo and the um, avocado cools the sandwich down. You still get that kind of like Italian flavor. Because you got the tomato, you got the pickles, you got the, the you got the, not the dull peppers, but the banana peppers, the pickled kind of peppers. I think that's what they're called. You got the ham in there. I'm gonna clean myself off. And then the onion comes through. It kind of, it's, a, it's a really, really good sandwich. And then the, the, the bread especially with Togo's, the bread especially with these sandwiches are, you can get options. You can change these sandwiches up all you want. You can doctor them up. 
Because if you go in there, they'll just give you the option of like, do you want it with the way it's served or do you want like extra? So I just say, just give me the way it's served. So they're really nice. Another bite. Almost kind of a, a creamy flavor. The dough with the bread. Chewy. It doesn't have a whole lot of crunch to it. At, like sourdough. I mean, the bottom is kind of toasted here, and the top is kind of, kind of, kind of hard. But it is, it is really, really good. And the sandwiches are, are a bit, the, the tastes are a bit mellow. Oh, onion. One more bite. As I said earlier, This is just a normal size. This is not the large. It's just, you can get the option of getting like a drink and chips. I just got the sandwich. I just got three sandwiches. The girl behind the counter, she said, you want three sandwiches? I'm like, yeah, I want three sandwiches. People get one sandwich. Those are rookie numbers. You gotta bump those numbers up. You get three sandwiches. Yeah, it's gonna be more expensive, but whatever. And I'll get into my review after my next sandwich. So let's put this away. I'm gonna make really good use of these napkins <laughs> and my water that I got. <laughs> Okay, now of course the third sandwich I saved the best for last, which is, as I'm sure you probably guessed it, if you know numbers and if you've been to Togo's before, the number nine, hot pastrami, which is exactly what they're known for. Maybe you can see it better back here, I don't know. Of course, the bun to product ratio on this one is about 50-50. And of course, the most iconic sandwich of them all, why? Because it's one of the original sandwiches. I think I was saying the Italian was one of the originals. This is another original. It's been on the menu for the longest. And of course, if you get it with the original um, bun and all the various accoutrement on the sandwich, it, it is really tasty. And the sandwiches, the ingredients kind of come together. I'm the hot pastrami is just falling out of this thing. I can't contain it. It's like my burger challenge that I did for me. And I remember that. Number nine from Togo's. Hop strami going in. A lot of meat here. Delicious. Really good. Really tasty. So, I would say between the three sandwiches that I have to review here, this is probably the most spiciest sandwich. It has a little bit more, I wouldn't say kick, but character to it. Yeah. Sandwich, some sandwiches have that peppery flavor. Of course, this has the pickle, the vinegar, the brine from the pickle, the coolness of the tomato, the mustard. Kind of choked. Ugh. The mustard comes through pretty good here. Kind of pepper. Eat that. So, taste the sandwich overall. The pastrami is a bit chewy, but other than that, it's really good. Another bite for you, right here. There's a lot going on. So, if you're the type of person that likes their sandwiches with a lot of flavor, go to Togo's if you're on the west coast. Get a number nine hot pastrami. Get the chips, get the drink, get the meal. Um, and uh, enjoy this. This is one of my favorites. I think if I had to pick a favorite, it would be either the number 16, Classic Italian, or the number nine. It's heavy. I ate like an entire sandwich and it's still heavy. Well, I got lunch for tomorrow. Look on the bright side, so that's good. Kick my dream. Review time. Okay, so. Convenience. Convenience for Togo's, um, is not the highest in the world. You can't really find them in a lot of places, especially I think the East Coast. Uh, I tried to do a, um, a search on Togo's East Coast, and I couldn't find anything. I think they're just primarily West Coast, of course. So their grade goes down a notch for Togo's uh, convenient factor. However, if you are on the West Coast, oh, it's messing with my stomach, I'm cool. If you're on the West Coast, the convenience factor will go up simply because of your location. I'm in California, so 
you just go to Google Maps and type in Togo's, you'll be, you know, a short driving distance away from your local spot. And a clever thing that Togo's did, I think back in 2007, they teamed up with Baskin Robbins. So if you're in a parking lot and you see a Togo's, uh, look around just to see if you can't find a Baskin Robbins uh, location within the same parking lot because apparently those are owned by the same parent company now. I didn't do a whole lot of research into the, the, the takeovers, but over the last, I want to say, 20 years that I've been, I want to say, two or three owners, and um, one of those guys was the guy who sat on the board of directors for Baskin & Robbins. The one that I went to, um, they actually had a Baskin & Robbins ice cream inside the Togo, so I think they're kind of joining up. I think that's what um, uh, Carl's Jr. did recently, not recently, but with the Green Burrito. You go into Carl's Jr. sometimes, you'll see Green Burrito to expand on that market. Um, and I think that's a wise move. I mean, sometimes when people want sandwiches, they also want ice cream. If you're gonna go with sandwiches, you can go to Togo's, just go go all in and, and get uh, and, and get some ice cream while you're there. So, um, quality. Um, I will say that the quality is pretty high. I've had a lot of different sandwiches. Um, they do offer a lot of different varieties. Uh, like I said, menu, their, their menus have been pretty expansive over the years. The numbers, what they have has changed quite drastically. Even in my, even in my adolescence, my childhood, um, I've seen that the, the menu go from, you know, five sandwiches to 50 sandwiches. So that's good. Um, and so they, they get a, a really good score for quality. Uh, um, price. Now price is is up there. I wouldn't say it's the best price there is because you are buying Togo's. Um, but uh, it's, it's a good, it's an average price. I mean I paid about 21 but I did get three you know signature sandwiches so that's good. Um, so that pretty much wraps it this up for this review. I will be coming back with another challenge slash review. Uh, I want to say next week or in the next couple days. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Go out and get some Togos. Come along and see us too.